Criminal gangs are alleged to be influencing certain officials in Taiwan. New measures have been introduced to prevent gangsters from infiltrating Taiwanese politics. But a former lawmaker has told Sky News they aren't enough to stop a deeply concerning trend. Asia correspondent Brent O'Halloran filed this special report from Taipei. A shootout on the streets of the capital. <laughs> An attempted assassination caught on camera. Millions of dollars worth of illicit drugs smuggled from overseas. Taiwanese gangs are a constant scourge, and these lawbreakers' connections to lawmakers are raising concerns. People will start to question whether or not our government seriously want to crack down the crimes. A count from before November's elections showed around 15% of local councillors, 136 politicians, had a criminal record. Crimes included kidnapping and coercion connected to triad activity. This has been a, a, a long existing problem that um, influences um, Taiwanese uh, pol uh, politics. The problem goes beyond politicians' past crimes. Politicians. Former legislator Ko Chung Hung told Sky News members of criminal groups regularly interact with lawmakers. They tried to bribe him multiple times. The politicians abuse their power in order to make those gangsters make money. He's now pointing the finger at current high-level political figures. This video purportedly shows a senior member of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party dining with a renowned mob boss. That is a very astounding example of how politicians abuse their power. Analysts say gang members press politicians to back bills which benefit their businesses. In exchange, they offer money and votes. And for the local elections, it is imp quite important that they got good connections and they got uh, uh, local, local support. Taiwan's leaders are trying to cut the political clout of illegal gangs. Lawmakers will consider a motion to ban people with certain criminal convictions from running for office. And the ruling party will later this year vote on tightening its criteria for candidates. The fact that these measures are needed might suggest to others outside of Taiwan that Taiwan politics is controlled by gangs. We have to face this problem, and we will face it. When we find problems that affect the development of democracy, we have to make it official so that we can meet the expectations of the people. Mr Hung says tougher measures are needed. He says a dedicated unit to combat political corruption needs to be established and harsher penalties given to politicians caught on the take. If nothing is done to address this problem, what do you fear might happen in Taiwan? Taiwan will become more and more corrupt. Eventually it will weaken our democracy and it will undermine our law and order. That is not the society I will want my children to live. The stakes are high in Taiwan's fight against gang control. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News in Taipei.